This is a Stocke Explori, and today we're going to show you how to replace the handle. Uh, most common reason that people do this is because of scratches, uh, sort of damage to the surface and the finish. Um, if you have trouble with the handle in relation to its positioning, uh, the problem is related to this button here. Um, and right today we're going to show you how to open up this mechanism. So if you needed to switch out any of these buttons uh, or elements inside, that could be done uh, by opening up as we show in this video. So in order to swap out this handle then, you're going to need to open up this top part here. You're going to need a uh, screwdriver with a CRV T20 head. It's one of those star-shaped heads, very common. Uh, and you're going to want to lift up this button in the front. And there are two screws here. And you can slide this up. And if you press down this back button again, the handle adjustment button, then you can slide this whole thing out. Okay, turn the handle up so you can see down inside. There is a screw down in there, uh, something I forgot to mention. In relation to the screw bit head, you're going to need something long so you can get in this hole. Uh, the standard ones are usually a little bit too fat when you put it into that connector to fit in there. Now, in any case, you want to unscrew that screw. If it doesn't come all the way out, it's okay as long as it's not screwed in anymore. I'm going to turn this then the other direction. Like this, there's a screw right here. And then this handle comes apart in two pieces. You can just pull it out like this. Get your replacement handle. I'll just get this screw out first so that I have it. Okay. This back in place like this with that hole pointed upwards makes it easiest I find one moment yes that's correct and then you can just slide it in now, of course anytime you're opening up mechanisms of this sort it's not a bad idea to lubricate a bit inside I would recommend a silicone spray or as far as the inside is concerned you could also use something a bit thicker like food industry grease or a silicone putty but at least silicone spray. It's a good idea whenever you're opening something like this up again. Okay, we're just gonna screw this screw back in. Fold this over. And then screw this in tight. If you found it difficult to fit the two halves of this into the middle here, it likely means that this piece was uh, turned the opposite direction. So I'll show you again from the top. You see this hole sits a little bit off center. If that hole is backwards, it means it's backwards. Uh, so don't just keep trying to force it. Make sure that everything is put in correctly. And of course, the hole for the screw on the back side of the handle goes downwards. Now, when you're replacing the top panel here, I just want to note that the positioning of the front trigger or front button is a little bit fiddly. Uh, it functions a lot easier on the newer models, but on the older models, it can be a little bit fiddly. So uh, this trigger on the back side has these two slots and there's this pole that pops out, uh, runs down the length of that uh, arm. And you're going to need to slide the two pins on the sides of that pole into those slots and then while you're holding the button up like this, pull it down the front, and you're trying to get these little rounded knobs in there. Okay? That's the idea. But you don't need to do that now. I'm just showing you ahead because it's going to be hard to see afterwards. What you're going to want to start with is the back panel itself. You want to pull down this button and find the correct position here so that these two knobs lock into place as they should. 
go. And then pull it down so you can see how it's supposed to go. Yeah, pull it slightly up. And now we're gonna do that button. So pull it in, pull the trigger up a little bit, pull it down and find the position. If that pull pops out, you have to reposition that button. And during the whole part of the process, until you have it screwed in tight, uh, it is possible that that pull can pop out, or at least until you have this top panel pressed down tightly. So you wanna keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't pop off. While you're holding it in place, you can then find a position whereby you can slide that panel down. And then the whole thing just sort of pushes down together and slid off. go then you can lift up that front button make sure you're holding down this panel so that that uh, that front trigger doesn't disconnect and then you can screw those screws back into place so in any case that's how you disassemble replace the handle and reassemble uh, a stock Explory again this is an older model uh, but it is the same process more or less on all the models we hope this video has been useful to you. If it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.